I'm doing a little bit more work on this aerial Red Hunter 350 and uh, today this new high capacity oil pump, the Morgo oil pump arrived for it. So I took this one off, which is actually a good one of mine because the one that was on this engine was worn out. Um, I found this one which was slightly better among my bits and pieces and this control valve and used them to get reasonable oil pressure showing on the uh, gauge here when it was running. Um, certainly sort of about 25 or 30 psi on this gauge when it was warm uh, allowing for the sort of 6 or 7 psi that it starts from. Anyway, I fitted this um, oil pump and this blue gasket here came with it so I fitted that as well and you can see that goes like that on the oil pump but on the face of the engine on the uh, timing case it actually ends up linking that oil way to that one which is a direct feed into the big end um, via a crank end feed so you're just sort of sending oil directly from there to there. As far as I can make out on these engines, this, rather than being an oil pressure relief valve, is more of a sort of control, pressure control valve, which seems to make the oil pump build up a certain amount of pressure before this opens and allows it to get to the big end, and that way you get a reading on the clock here. Um, you can actually see some of it on this old timing case that I've got here. If I lift this gasket out of the way you can see that's a hole with a pipe on the other end of it there going direct into the end of the crank and the big end. But the normal gaskets that I've seen cover that hole so obviously the oil has got to be pumped up make this um, control valve we just saw open and then once that's open the oil goes from that through passageways and into the big end. However I fitted the new oil pump and I also fitted this new gasket and ran the engine and the flow seemed to be good and the return to the tank was very very strong but the oil pressure on the clock was right down which is not surprising is as after I sort of looked at the oil lubrication system and the passageways you can see that it seems to just bypass this control valve and let the oil get pumped straight into the big end which is great um, but it dramatically affects the readings on the oil pressure gauge they drop right down I was getting sort of between well just below and just above 10 psi on the gauge with this gasket and if I use this gasket with um, this hole covered I was getting between 25 and 30. Now, I'm not worried about feed or oil going to the big end in either case. Um, I'll probably fit this gasket but this will explain why that perhaps if you uh, were to fit an oil pump like this with its new gasket, in place of an old pump that had a gasket like this, um, the oil pressure readings on the gauge will drop dramatically. Um, so it's just one to be aware of really. I'm going to fit the, um, the new Morgo pump again now and I'm going to fit the gasket that came with it because I've been running it with this gasket. It's quite warm now and I've been getting around about 25 psi on the clock. So I'll fit the blue gasket next and I know that the uh, readings on the clock are going to drop dramatically but the flow will be good and then when it's time for the bike to go back to the owner he can decide basically which sort of gasket he wants to use I think that's probably best but I think in either case the um, oil pump is going to perform better as, as far as feed to the big end and the engine goes so I'll carry on with that uh, blue gasket I think and see, see how we get on